Mir Sultan Khan has been officially awarded the Grand Master title which made him the oldest Grand Master in the subcontinent. Technically, Niaz Murshid of Bangladesh is the first ever Grand Master of the subcontinent followed by the legendary five-time world champion Vishwanath Anand. The servant who becomes a three-time British champion was born in Mita, Taiwan, which is a city in Khushab district, Pakistan. And the place when he left is written in the shield. It is a joyful moment for chess players as the legend like Sultan Khan is now recognized as a Grand Master. But it also has its political perspectives. Mir Sultan Khan was 1928 India national champion which happened in the Delhi. And Sultan Khan chess skills get more polished when his owner took him to England where he won the British championship three times. Even crushing the legend of the game like world champion Capablanca and the fierce attacking player Frank Marshall. As FIDE has declared Sultan Khan as the first ever Grand Master of a Pakistan, India claim it to be not. Sultan Khan had a chess span of five years and in those five years Pakistan never existed and even after partition he chooses Pakistan but he never played a single tournament in Pakistan. So his professional chess journey starts in India and ends in England. So where is Pakistan? The answer is quite simple. You can claim the achievements but not the nationality. For example, Wesley So who is from Philippines and now playing under the American Chess Federation. If he becomes the world champion, America will become the world champion, not Philippines. But the player will remain Filipino. So similarly, Sultan Khan has served India and British in chess but on the grassroots he still remain a Pakistani. Fide has come to Pakistan to give this honorary title and also doing an inauguration of the world biggest chess promotion in school which will be 10,000. If we do the math, if they cover 20 schools per day which is itself a big tax, it will take them 1.4 years to complete this program. So let's hope this program becomes success and chess flourish in the fifth most populous country in the world. So if you're a chess fan, subscribe.